Welcome to Agpro Aviation. On the 38th video, we discussed my throttle. Today's update, I wanted to briefly discuss antennas and wiring. On the 31st video, we discussed building a high performance antenna for our Legal Eagles. One of my subscribers mentioned to me that there was an update to the instructions that I used to build my first antenna. Also, I had a fellow Legal Eagle owner reach out and ask for help in building her one as well. So, naturally, I came up with some new modifications and thought I'd share it with you. If you haven't already seen that video, you may want to go back and watch it first. But here we go. As I was building my first antenna, I had thought it might be cool to 3D print this base. But at the time, I hadn't messed with 3D printing yet. So I was lying in bed one night and thought, wouldn't it be cool to go ahead and figure out how to print these bases? And by the way, the 3D printed bases are so much lighter. Three ounces to be exact. My original UMHW base came in at 3.6 ounces. The 3D printed one comes in at 0.6 ounces. Anyways, I printed the first one and fell in love with it. And along with the updated instructions, I thought I'd go ahead and redo mine. The primary difference is the author is now using ferrite vellums instead of the palsy vellum. I also plan on borrowing my dad's SMW meter and fine-tune both these antennas to the proper lengths for maximum performance on our aircraft. Okay, next, I wanted to share something with you that is not in the XL plans at all. Wiring. While it's true our ultralights are as simple and basic as you get, some may not know anything about wiring the engine. So I thought I'd share my knowledge on the issue as well as beg for assistance on something I've never seen before. Here you can see I sketched out what I knew and where it all goes. As everything on my Google Sheet workbook is a work in progress. So I created a new tab, wrote down the known facts, as well as the questions I have. It's pretty straightforward. Assuming you're like me and do not have a magneto, we start with a battery. I will first fuse the main wire and then go to a master switch. From the master switch, I will then go back to the fuse block and fuse the wires that will go to both of my coil switches and then to the respective coils. Basically, to start the engine, I'll turn on the master switch and the primary coil switch, both guarded to help prevent accidentally turning off in flight. Once the engine is started, I can turn on my secondary spark plug. And once I get my Jenny Pod type wind generator built, and once flying, I can flip that switch on to charge the battery. I plan to 3D print my fuse block, but I'm still designing where to mount it and the battery. I have a tiny tack that doesn't need any power and an amp meter, which I'll tie into the return leg of the master switch so that I'll know what the charge of my battery is at all times. So here's my two questions for the group. First, what battery do y'all recommend? With all the lithium options out there, I was thinking they may be lighter with the same power rating. I had even thought of using a Milwaukee 18 volt battery with a transformer to convert it to 12 volt. Still an option if we thought it would last as long. This way we could easily mount a base and slide and lock the battery in place just like on one of the tools and easily remove it to charge it at the end of the flight. My next question. I have a distributor type device that replaces the oil pump cover for my second pair of spark plugs. 
I've reached out to Great Plains Aviation Supply. They were apparently the seller of this unit, but haven't had any luck with them. Have any of you seen this and or know what the four wires go to? I've sketched out my guesses. I assume the two red wires are for each coil or spark plug, and the white and black, I'm assuming one is for power and one is for ground. If so, I'm not sure which is which. My setup also came with a Dyna coil that has two small wires and, of course, the two spark plug wires that come from it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and hopefully I'll get all the wiring done soon. And hopefully the weather lets me pull this thing out and finish rigging the wings. I've got to get a propeller on order. Getting close. Well, maybe. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully found some of the info helpful for your build. And if you're on the fence about starting a legal eagle build, hopefully I've shown you just how easy it can be. And if you like these videos, please like and subscribe to my YouTube, Odyssey, or Rumble channels. Thank you and be safe.